Hey guys, Set here. Now, it's been a little while since the release of One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows, and I've had a lot of fun with it. As for you guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think of it so far? Are you still playing it? Have you stopped playing it? Let me know what you think and why you think so. Now, the topic of today is going to be about the first DLC character that we are going to receive on One Punch Man, a hero nobody knows, and that is none other than the martial arts master himself, Suryu. The winner of four consecutive super fight tournaments, someone who is incredibly dangerous with both his hands and his feet. Someone who uses his power to, as he puts it, breeze through life more easily. This is a guy who, in my opinion, has S-class hero power, and while he is not a hero, he's definitely not someone you want to mess around with. So we're going to be taking a look and having a breakdown of what exactly we might see from him in this video today. So just so you guys know what to expect, we will be looking at a character analysis, his combinations that we expect to see, we will be looking at the killer moves that we could see, the ultimate killing move, and finally the mode change. Before we go into the moveset that we may see of Suryu, let's talk about the man himself. He is a carefree individual, he is very confident, he's known to be quite the playboy and amidst all of this he is incredibly strong. We've seen him dispatch A-class heroes with ease. Uh, that's why I believe he is of S-class power. The way that he defeated uh, Snakebite and the way he defeated Lightning Max, <laughs> it was not even a challenge for him. He didn't really even need to probably put all of his attention on that to begin with. He probably could have won that fight with his hands behind his back and one eye closed. Maybe even both. So as we can see uh, from pretty much his prowess, he's going to be a strong character in the game. He's just got this attitude where he wants to breeze through life. He wants to enjoy life at its fullest. You know, women, fame, glory. Again, he won four consecutive super fight tournaments in a row. Uh, it may even be five if you count the one in season two of One Punch Man. So this is not somebody you want to mess around with. But at the same time, he's a very warm character. If you don't mean him any harm, you could probably see yourself getting along with him, provided you don't hate his uh, cockiness at times. So with that said, let's jump into the moves and let's see just what exactly he might be doing on our screens when he shows up in April. Okay. So starting off with his general moveset, his combinations, Suryu is a man who is a master of the Void Fist, also known in the anime as the Dark Body Fist. So with this in mind, we are going to see a combination of punches and kicks. Now I know what you're thinking, we've seen him win countless fights using only kicks in the show. So while you may be correct on that point, you have to understand that in the game he will be fighting opponents that are far stronger than what he's seen in these tournaments, which leads me to believe that Suryu in these encounters would definitely resort to fighting people like Deep Sea King, Carnage Kabuto, Metal Bat, Silver Fang with his whole body. So with that in mind, I think we are going to see a combination of kicks and punches for his combinations. We may see some roundhouse kicks or launch kicks for the heavies. I can see a kick being the up and heavy to knock someone into the air. We have seen him do that to Saitama in the show where he leveled him straight into the sky with a kick. That could be his launch. And as for sweeps, I think another leg kick is very, very likely. For the rest of his combinations, I think we're going to see punches and kicks. Possibly the combinations ending with kicks. It just really depends on how the strings work together. However, I don't think Spike Chunsoft would only have him using kicks since most of the opponents within the game are very, very formidable. And if Suryu ever did find himself in a fight with even half of these, well, I believe he would have to resort to using his entire body to ensure victory. So with that said, my final prediction for what we're going to see out of his combinations is going to be a mixture of punches and kicks, with uh, kicks being the launchers and the sweeps, and strong attack probably combination ends with punches. So maybe something like kick, kick, punch, punch, or kick, 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 punch. It could be anything, however, with his fighting style, do not rule out that we will be seeing punches in his fighting style. 
moving on to his killer moves. Okay, now this part is going to be very interesting because Siryu has some fabulous techniques that would look great in this game and I have no doubt that at least two or even three of these will show up into the actual game when he shows up in April. So with that said, let's kick on and make some predictions. The first killer move I am predicting for Suryu in A Hero Nobody Knows will be the Dark Body Flying Dragon Fist. Now this is a move where Suryu utilizes his speed and power to put himself into a cyclone like movement, spinning around while striking continuously and relentlessly at the opponent. We first saw him use it on Saitama where he struck him over and over and over while Saitama of course simply stood there and took it. However, in the game, do not expect anyone but Saitama to take that move so well. Now, we know that Suryu is an S-class opponent really. He is super strong, super quick, and he can do pretty much anything he wants with his martial arts against you. So with this move, I expect it to look something like consecutive normal punches, maybe at a move cost of three to the move stock gauge. Possibly it may look like instantaneous effect from Silver Fang where he rushes forward utilizing his uh, hands to commit many many strikes against you without your consent and it could really look anything like those or perhaps they may go in a different direction and create an all new kind of animation for Siryu where he almost stands in place while you take hit after hit. We'll, uh, we'll see what it looks like when it comes out however I do believe this is a definite put for his killer moves. The second killer move that I think we could see will be the Dark Body Quake Tiger Fist. Now this seems like it could be a buff killer move because when he utilizes it in the show he assumes a stance and then moves in a certain particular way. Now when he uses this stance and moves the way he does he looks more open to creating more damage against his opponent as if he's taking the next step in the fight and upgrading his mindset to cause even more offensive damage. With that said I think we could be looking at an attack increase probably a plus one for what I would assume to be an either one or two move gauge cost. Another possibility could be a counter. So he could even stomp towards the opponent with that movement, having that sort of blue aura that you see around Silver Fang in Water Stream Encampment. So he could either stand still in that pose or move forwards, and if a strike hits him, it could be a counter move for him to attack back with. The third and most possibly strongest move that Siryu will be able to do on his killer move set in A Hero Nobody Knows could be the Dark Body Phoenix Rising Fist. Now we have seen him use this move on Saitama where he planted it into his torso and then twisted his wrist to increase the force and power of the punch. I believe it is his strongest technique and for that reason I think the cost will be roughly 3 to 5 on the move stock gauge. 3 being light, 5 being a bit heavy, although it all depends on the damage that we see from it. Coming towards the end of this segment, I only have two more predictions for his killer moves and they are both quite minor ones that I don't think we will see, but there is still a slight potential that we will. The first one being a combination of rapid fire kicks. So as I said earlier about consecutive normal punches, we could see something incredibly similar, except with, you guessed it, kicks. Siryu can throw countless kicks at once from you know several angles and in fact he can do it so well that he can actually abort those kicks he doesn't even need to actually throw them he can even feint those it's insane speed and most likely a barrage that you would not even be able to react to much like Saitama's consecutive normal punches so effectively very nice and easy a consecutive kick routine of some kind where Siryu will go into a stance on one leg and just rapid fire kicks at you until you are no longer recognizable. Now that one, I assume it will work very similar to consecutive normal punches, so I'm gonna say if that's in there, we're looking at a move stock cost of three as well. Now the next one, hmm, well, this one is definitely a, uh, a far cry. I don't think this one, I don't think we will see this one. However, we'll put it in anyway. 
if you guys remember, during the fight with Saitama, Siryu is really, really trying to goad him into attacking him. He's just looming over him with this crazy look on his face, almost Hisoka-esque face, and he's just goading him to attack him. And then Saitama steps back, and when Saitama steps back, Siryu, he says, did he know that I was about to counter him, or at least something along those lines, did he know I was waiting for his punch to counter him? This could be a counter killer move where he assumes this overwhelming, you know, just crazy state that's looking to be struck. And then if someone attacks him, much like Water Stream Encampment, we could see an immediate attack back. Except this one could actually look pretty cool. They could really go all out with the uh, scene here and make it look like in the show where he almost looked demonic to the point of, uh, of scary. So... Again, I think this one is a, a long shot. I wouldn't expect to see this one, guys. However, I'm going to say it's going to be a counter if it is in here with a move stock cost of two. Moving into ultimate killer move territory. I think this one is going to be a combination of two moves. Simply put, I think we will see Dark Body Flying Dragon Fist as the first half of the ultimate. And then once that damage is done, he will then step in and follow up with Dark Body Phoenix Rising Fist. I believe he did that on Saitama, I think, where he just hits him with the one, two, the one being that first super, the second being, of course, the second. And then that combination of those two moves would more or less put anybody else that was at his power level or below into the ground without a doubt. So I think we will see a fantastic, I'm saying hopefully, a fantastic animation where they mix Dark Body Flying Dragon Fist straight into the Phoenix Rising Fist for the ultimate. A combination of those two supers. If they do this, it's a possibility that one of them will not be a killer move. Again, they may put them, you know, they may sacrifice one in the killer move slot to keep one of them new for the ultimate. So you're not seeing moves you've already seen, you know, probably prior into the fight. However, I don't think this would be too much of an issue. I think we would all enjoy being able to do both moves separately and then together for an ultimate. So that's what I'm expecting for the ultimate. Something else we could see for the ultimate is a combination of the Dark Body Quake Tiger Fist and the Dark Body Phoenix Rising Fist like he used to dispatch Chose at the Super Fight Tournament. Now onto the last part, we have the mode change. So with this, I think we're going to end up with one of two ways. The first way being his long hair with his normal outfit unscathed. So we have seen him with his long flowing locks out in the open. Looks very cool. Um, it's probably going to be that. I don't see why they would have that animation of him put to waste. We have seen what he looks like with his hair in a ponytail of sorts. And of course, with it all out and straight. I think we're going to want to see both in the game, personally. I don't think Spike Chunsoft would waste the opportunity to get that kind of hair in the game, and hopefully maybe even for uh, use of our created heroes too. So again, the first possibility being that with his normal outfit, the second being when Saitama knocked his top off with a punch that didn't even land. So we could see basically the exact same thing, however, it will be topless Siryu with all of his muscles out on show. So long hair Siryu, top on or top off, we're not sure which one it could be, but I have a high suspicion that it's going to be one of those two. And with all that said, that brings us to the end of the video. I've been set. thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the uh, content, just you know, like, comment and subscribe, the usual. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch, that's twitch.tv slash setano. And if you enjoyed what I've basically been talking about, feel free to give your own ideas. So in the comment section, do you think you're going to see some of the stuff I've said? Do you think you're going to see something else? Do you think that's not possible? you think something else is possible? Give me all your ideas about what you think Siryu could provide for us when he lands on a hero nobody knows. Have a nice day and take it easy.